Welcome to Stadium Park in Delphi Square. Tonight on WOSN, we've got a Midwest Athletic Conference matchup between the homestanding Delphi St. John's Blue Jays and the visiting St. Henry Redskins. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Nate Garlock. We've got all the action for you tonight here from Stadium Park as the leadoff hitter, Logan Link, the right fielder for St. Henry, steps in the box. He'll, he will face Braylon Metzger on the mound in the first pitch up and out of the zone for a ball. As we got, uh, this could be one of those games, Nate, that uh, matters into the uh, sectional district draw here in the yeah, next couple days. Absolutely, this is a rematch of last year's regional finals. And so these two teams, obviously, with the, just the not just the conference history, but the postseason history as well. Uh, it gives you a little bit of extra coming into this one tonight. The 1-1 pitch just missed outside. Runs the count to 2-1. St. Henry six and seven on the season. Two and one in the Midwest Athletic Conference. Still for St. John's five and seven. One and three in conference play. Coming off a big win last night over Lincoln View as the two one chopped down the third base line and out of play. Evens the count at two apiece. St. John's won three to one last night against Lincoln View. Uh, Cameron Elmer in the on the mound. Seven strikeouts, scattered four hits in the shutout victory complete gamer for Elmer as the 2-2 two -two swing and a miss. And Logan Link goes down on K's on the first batter faced by Braylon Metzger. Yeah, nice pitching by Metzger that time, changing it up, moving the speed, getting some movement on that ball coming in. And saw the off speed, looked like a curve that dropped in there. And the batter way out in front. Hayden Beckman will step into the box now. Left-handed hitting center fielder. Watches a curve ball, four ball one. Around the horn for Delphi St. John's. Catching today is Braden Pullman as he awaits the 1-0. That one fouled off of Pullman. Also around the infield, T.J. Wirtz at first. Tease McLean at second. Tyler Lindemann at third. Cam Eller playing shortstop today from left to right in the outfield. Colin Feathers, Austin Munner, and Aaron Munner out in right today as the left-hander. Comes Plagrin. Nearly hit Beckman with the pitch as <laughs> yes, he hears it from the bench from the dugout telling him, wear one there, get a, get a base runner as Beckman instinctively got out of the way there. <laughs> Easier said than done. And Metzger trying to turn it up a little bit there with the fastball on the inside. It's a little, too little, far inside. A little, little chilly, a little, wouldn't have felt warm, up to, wouldn't have felt good, I'll tell you that, as Beckman chops one down the first base side off against the fence. Evens to count it, two balls, two strikes, one down in the top of the first inning on the least famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Beckman playing center field today for St. Henry. Drives that one into center field straight away. Tracking it is Austin Munner. Ranging to his right, he'll make the grab. And the F8 in the scorebook brings two down for St. Henry. Munner had to run a little bit farther than I think he anticipated yeah. when that came off the bat. Is he kind of settled him up like he was going to have an easy fly ball, but that thing kept tailing towards left field. Nice job tracking that down to get the out. Drew Schwederman comes to the plate now. Watches the first one in for a strike, playing first base today. Schwederman, a 194 hitter thus far on this season. As Pullman will come playward. That one got Schwederman right on the kidney. He, didn't want, he doesn't want to make it seem as if it hurts, but I'm sure that doesn't feel good on a less than balmy day here midway through the high school baseball season. I'll bring up the designated hitter, Lucas Clooney. Clooney hitting 280 on the year. And first pitch bounces as Schwederman remains. No, it hit him. Yeah, got him on a foot there as it came on the inside. So got him in the back foot, they say. And that'll bring up Jake Schwederman, the second baseman. Schwederman hitting 500 in limited action thus far. Is the St. Henry led off the game with back-to-back -back left-handers. 
Saw Metzger be able to get through those with not much trouble, but now they're reaching the right-hand bounders of this lineup. And it's been a struggle as he's been trying to come on that inside. He wants to get the inside part of the plate against these righties. Back-to-back -back hit batsman. Braylon Metzger checks the runners. Comes in with a fastball up and out of the zone. There are two down here in the top of the first inning. After retiring the first two hitters, the two lefties, as Nate mentioned, back-to-back -back hit by pitches as a runner in scoring position for the Redskins. Jake Schwederman awaits the 1-0 in for a strike on the inner half of the plate right at the knees. Metzger trying to work the bottom part of the strike zone on that one and just able to clip it. So he'll come set with the 1-1. Runner not being held on at first base. So Metzger checks back at second. Platewood, curveball missed just up and out of the zone. And Schwederman gets ahead in the count at the 2-1. So far, that off-speed stuff for Metzger has been his best, uh, best pitches here in this first inning. It's when he's trying to crank it up a little bit. He's lost that control. There you see it. The fastball up and out of the zone. Runs the count to 3-1. Jake Schwederman, the second baseman, a 500 hitter on this season. Just six at-bats coming into this Midwest Athletic Conference matchup. He comes Playward, watches that one up and out of the zone, draws the walk, and just like that, the bases are loaded for St. Henry here in the first. St. John's head coach. Jerry Jackson wants to chat things over, talk about one defensively, how they'd like to play things here with two down and the bases loaded, but also try to settle down. The pitcher, Braylon Metzger, has got off to a hot start there with the strikeout of Logan Link swinging to face the first batter. But then back to back hit by pitches, and now a walk has loaded things up for the Redskins. Yeah, not a lot of innings thrown coming into tonight. Only thir just a little over 13 innings so far here on the season thrown for Metzger. And you know, a lot of that has to do with what every team is facing at this part of the season. The weather this spring has just been absolutely brutal. Yeah. And so even though we're getting towards the end of April and a lot of pitching coaches would like to be refining that pitching staff and being able to solidify a few things, you know, they're still trying to work some stuff out. Just see Metzger kind of in that same boat, trying to work through a little bit of the struggle. His, his right-handed hitters right now, he's just having a little bit of trouble with them. That'll bring up Logan DeHan. As the right-handed hitter stamps into the box, playing left field today. First pitch, well up and out of the zone. Dehan playing left field, hitting 333 on the season. Playing in his ninth game of the season today. Metzger throws one in there for a strike, fouled off back to the screen, evens the count at one apiece. St. Henry. Coming off a 2-0 loss at the hands of Fort Recovery on Tuesday. That snapped a three-game winning streak for the Redskins. We're going to get back to their winning ways today in another Midwest Athletic Conference matchup. As Metzger comes set. Platework. That one just a little low. Runs the count to 2-1 two to one, two one here with two down in the top of the first. Six batter of the inning. Stepping to the plate for St. Henry. As Metzger comes plateward one more time. Missed up and out of the zone. Runs the count to 3-1 now. As DeHan knows, he's going to probably get a strike here. And if not, a run's going to score for the Redskins. 3-1 count. Metzger, plateward, missed low. And that will walk in a run as Drew Schwederman comes around after the hit by pitch to score. Making it one nothing St. Henry on the least famous recipe chicken scoreboard. And a little bit of a rough stretch here for Metzger. As you kind of see he's getting a little short-armed with it, not quite following through. And that control is just something he just can't quite get a grip on here in this first inning. Comes Playward. Out of the zone on that one as well. As Owen Zimmerman, the third baseman, steps in the box. Zimmerman. A right hander. Watches that pitch low. Zimmerman playing in game number 13 tonight. 
Looking for his first extra base hit of the season. That pitch missed outside as well. It's three balls, no strikes to the number seven hitter. A hitter's count. We'll see if Zimmerman's got the green light here with two down to the first. Metzger will come plateward. Working out of the windup. That one in for a strike. Belt high fastball. Metzger needed a strike in the worst way. It's been a while since he saw one get across the plate. Took some off of that, just a little pitch and catch to get strike one. The 3-1. That one below the knees. And a second run will come across the score as Lucas Clooney trots home, making it 2 nothing St. Henry. After being able to get the first two out relatively quickly, that's already the 30th pitch for Metzger here in this inning. Three consecutive walks. Brings up Caden Bergman, the center, the center, the catcher. Step into the plate, the eighth batter. In the inning is Metzger. Comes Plateward, a hardy cut from Caden Bergman. Missed on that one as Metzger gets the swinging strike. The left-hander. Got the first two down for two back-to-back. -back, a back-to-back -back hit by pitch, back-to-back -back walk. Three straight walks, actually, as Bergman fouls that one down. Got it off the windshield of the bus. <laughs> you know, this the setup here. The Stadium Park is a beautiful facility. A lot of nice diamonds, a lot of good things going on over here. But it is brutal for parking if you're yeah. <laughs> watching baseball or softball game. No, I tried to make sure I was <laughs> far enough away, and then I realized I was parked directly behind the softball diamond to the 0-2. Curve ball chopped off by Bergman down the first baseline. The, I'm, I'm going to guess, just a hunch, that my windshield on my car isn't as strong as a school bus windshield. Yeah, I feel like you're just, pretty safe. Just yeah. a yeah. hunch. It's a, it's a good, good guess. Bergman put a charge into that one, and it was smacked off the windshield of that bus, but didn't do a whole lot of damage. The 0-2, two down. That one fell. That's clear. The bases are still loaded full of Redskins. A 2-1 lead for St. Henry here in the top of the first. Have yet to register a hit. That pitch up and out of the zone. Runs a count to 1-2. The first pitch Bergman's taken today. 353 hitter from that catcher spot. He awaits the 1-2. That one fouled down that first base side one more time. So a couple of pitches ago, Metzger able to snap off a beautiful curveball as it dropped in there and it had Bergman guessing. I'd imagine we're going to see that pitch here again real soon, try to get this strike out. The one, two. Metzger curveball bounces it, evens the count at two apiece. Deuce is wild here in the top of the first. There it was, just couldn't get Bergman. Nice recognition by Bergman there. Saw that one coming, able to lay off of it. 353 hitter steps back in a right handed box. The 2 2 swung on, driven to second base. Tough play. Chucked to second base to Elwer. And the fielder's choice will end things here in the top of the first. It was a fruitful one for the Redskins. They lead 2 to nothing. On the least famous recipe chicken scoreboard as we go to the bottom half of the inning here on WOSN. High School Baseball today brought to you by Lonex Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at lonex.com. Top of the first, a good one for St. Henry. Delphi St. John's will try to get some back here as they'll bring McLean, Metzger, and Elwer to the plate at least here in the top of the first. Best thing that this Blue Jay offense can do right now is try to have a prolonged inning, see lots of pitches, give Metzger a time to kind of catch his breath. He's up second here in this inning, so he can help his own cause, but almost 40 pitches in the top half of that inning. I you know, can't imagine that he's going to be long for this one if he keeps up that yeah. pace. On the bump today for St. Henry is Devin Delzy, the right-hander. The first pitch swung on down the first base side. Off the glove of Drew Schwederman. Tries to make the tag. And they'll say he got him. Tice McLean. A nice sprint down that first base line. But Drew Schwederman hung tough there on that well-stung ball down the first base side. Makes a tag for out number one. And McLean trying to jump all over that first pitch. 
used that speed, almost was able to get away with that one as the, it had been booted down there at first. But nice play. One pitch, one out. The first pitch to Braylon Metzger missed just wide. Metzger winners number 15. Struck out the first batter he faced on the bump at the top part of the first inning. As Delzeeth will come playward. That one in the dirt as well. And a 2 0 count quickly to Metzger. One down here in the bottom of the first. Delzeeth. That one stung down the first baseline as well as Drew Schwederman. It's taken two well-stung balls down the first baseline. Yeah, we got a great vantage point where they set us up here for today's game, and you saw that one rocket off of his bat. It had some movement coming off of it. That was an incredibly difficult play down there at first base, and it was a good job just to even get his body in front I, I of that was, one to knock it down. I don't know how many first basemen get in front of that ball, let alone make the play there. That's a tough play for Drew Schwederman to make down at first base. So the base knock for Braylon Metzger has the first Blue Jay aboard as Camp Elward comes to the plate, the shortstop. Where is number 11? Awaits the first offering from Delzeeth. No throw over. Nearly got him. That was awfully close. Metzger had a nice large lead that time and just got back in there. That's a nice move over to first base as Metzger will take a similar lead at first is Elwer awaits the first pitch. One down here in the bottom of the first. Check out the runner. Come plateward. Well into the left hand of batter's box. 1-0 count to Elwer. Of course, a fantastic high school basketball player as well. Hitting third in the lineup today. Stalzee checks the runner. Comes plateward. Breaking ball. Up and out of the zone to a 2 0 count to Elwer. The 2 0. That one dribbled to short. Could be two. He'll go to first with it instead. Retiring Elwer on the fielder's choice. Awfully close play down there at first. The Delaware has pretty good speed, able to hustle down there. Because of that speed, shortstop had to make a quick decision as you know, Metzger's also had a nice lead over there, got a good jump off the, the ball coming off the bat. So St. John's still alive here in the bottom of the first. TJ Wirtz, the first baseman. A 345 hitter for St. John's. A runner in scoring position. Fastball in for a strike. Works 10 hits so far this season, all singles. Seven RBI to his credit. Delzey checks the runner in second, comes plateward. In for a strike is on the inner half of the plate there. So two strikes, now to works. The 0-2. Delzeeth nods his head in approval to the sign from the catcher. Checks the runner. Comes plateward. Curve ball. Uh, nearly hit a car coming through the parking <laughs> lot there. As Wirtz on the check swing there. A little excuse me swing by yes, Wirtz. Sir. Just trying to stay alive on that one. Doesn't matter how you fight him off, just that you fight him off. As Delzeeth comes set. The 0 2. Skied into center field. It's going to be trouble. That's a tough spot. That's going to drop. And that will bring Metzger around to score. And the Blue Jays tally their first run on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. In a tough spot, the RBI single for Wirtz. Great at bat by Wirtz that time. Fight off that pitch, staying alive and able to get the bat on that one and just kind of put it in no man's land. And it was more than enough for Metzger to be able to score as he was running on the hit. And that brings up Aaron Munner. 
Watches the first one in for a strike. Hitting 273 this season. Has a couple of doubles to his credit. Hardy cut at the breaking ball from Delzey. The 0 2. As Munner will step out of the box. Works. Takes the lead at first. Delzey comes plateward. Curveball. Slow roller to third. Play made by Owen Zimmerman. The strong throw to first to Drew Schwederman. He's in time for the out. St. John's gets one back there in the bottom half of the inning. It's a 2-1 ball game after one full here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. Top of the second inning, the first pitch from Braylon Metzger's hands. In for a strike. As St. Mary, the number nine hitter. Carter Laguerre in for his first attempt. That curveball bounces in front of the batter's box. Looked like Metzger just kind of lost his grip on that one as he kind of came through. And just died coming out of his hands, bounced well in front of the plate. The 1-1. One, one. That one up and out of the zone. We're a 194 hitter so far this year. Playing shortstop today for the Redskins. Is that one foul? Oh, just is a fair ball. Just over the bag. Bounces to the fence along the third base line. Laguerre slides into second safely for the lead off double. Just able to squeeze that one inside the third baseline. It was a great effort down there to try to knock that one down. But great hustle by Laguerre and able to make that into a double. The Redskins get their leadoff man. That's a hot shot down the third baseline. Tyler Lindemann tried to make the play. It was right at the bag. Went over the bag fair. And now Logan Link, the right fielder, struck out his first time up, comes to the plate with a runner in scoring position and nobody down. Metzger comes set, checks the runner. The left-hander, plateward, dribbler, down the third baseline. Lindemann goes through the wickets. Coming to third, Laguerre slides. The throw to third, not in time. Metzger covering from the pitcher's mound, and there are runners on the corners and nobody down. Here in the second. Looked like Lindemann that time just took his eyes off of that one as he was concerned whether or not Laguerre was going to try to break for third when he lifted up to see where he was at, pulled that glove up just a little bit, and that was enough for the ball to get underneath. Now the Redskins are threatening with guys on the corners. Hayden Beckman, center fielder, throw to first. On a check of Logan Link, not in time. Beckman, a 262 hitter. Watches that pitch out of the zone. Two hitter in the Redskin lineup. It's Metzger will throw over to first. Not in time. Runners on the corners with nobody down here in the top of the second. Lefty versus lefty matchup as Metzger comes set and plateward. Bounce that one off the screen coming home. The throw got him. Great play from behind the plate. Nice hustle as um, Braden Pullman Braden makes Pullman the put out. Was able to explode from down there. It bounced off the fence. Took an excellent bounce in the Blue Jays' favor. 
Great job covering the plate, too, that time by Metzger. 2-1 so caught stealing. Metzger pounced out of that stance like a cat to collect the out. And Hayden Beckman, who flied out to center field, his first appearance, will step back in the box. The 2-0 count, one down here at the top of the second, runner in scoring position. Metzger delivers, chopped down the first base side. Well into foul territory. Gloved by T.J. Works down there at first. Runs the count to 2-1 here in the top half of the second. Drew Schwederman stands in the on-deck circle. Metzger gets the signals from Pullman. Left hand plate drilled the second base. Play made in time by Tease McLean. And quickly two down here in the top of the second. Yeah, kind of came off uh, McLean's hand a little funny, so it made it interesting down there at first. But St. John's able to gather that one in. One out away from getting being out of trouble. Drew Schwader in the first baseman. Watches the curve ball in for a strike. Nice pitch there by Raylan Metzger. Got a head in the count here in the top of the second. Comes Playward one more time. That breaking ball in for a strike as well. Virtually that same spot. And quickly, Drew Sweeterman finds himself down 0-2. Yeah, it was a beautiful pitch as it just dropped right in there. Completely froze Sweeterman. Metzger, a quick check of the runner on third. Two down, top of the second. Brought it a third time, that one just a little low. A one, two. St. Henry, number three hitter. Wore that one. The third hit batsman. And the second time Schwederman's been hit in his first two plate appearances. Schwederman taking his time down to first base. Got it right on the elbow, I think. Just doesn't feel good at all. Taking his time before Lucas Clooney will step in. Yeah, you can see it on his face as he took that one and turned, and you could just see that that one did not feel good at all. Second time tonight, he had to wear, wear one. That does keep the Redskins inning alive. Runners on the corners, top of the second. Two down. Clooney, who also got hit by a pitch, his first plate appearance. As Braden Pullman couldn't squeeze the offering, but scampered to pick it up before Logan Link thought about coming home with it. Clooney, the designated hitter today for the visitors. As Metzger comes plateward. That one skied down the third base side. Camped down under it is Pullman. He'll make the grab. Metzger, I beg your pardon. Braylon Metzger makes the grab. And that will do it for the top half of the second. We'll go to the bottom half. Redskins with a 2-1 lead here over on St. John's over w, on WOSF. High School Baseball tonight brought to you by Lodox Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodox. Dot com. Two to one the score after one and a half here in this Midwest Athletic Conference matchup between Delphi St. John's and St. Henry. Blue Jays have the six, seven, and eight hitters coming to the plate today here in the bottom of the second. Austin Munner will step into the box for the first time this afternoon. Opposite Devin Delzeeth. Gave up a run there on a pair of hits in the top of the first. Is that fastball eye level for a ball? Well, these were pretty efficient in the first inning. Only threw 15 pitches. We saw contact, but his defense did a nice job of backing him up. Fastball at the knees for a strike. 1-1 pitch. Up coming to Munner.
That one stung just out of reach of the shortstop, Carter LeGuire and Austin Munner on with the base hit. See, Munner was sitting on a breaking pitch and got exactly what he was looking for right around chest high. Did what he should have done with it, deposited that over into left field for the single. And that'll bring up Alex Martz, the DH today. A 286 batter for St. John to the runner on first. Thought about squaring. And swings at the first offering he sees today. Eden for a strike. Martz looked like he was going to turn around to square to bunt on the first movement there by Dell Zeth. Instead, he was checking the runner at first. We'll see if there is. Maybe a hit and run, the throw over, not in time. As Mutter dives back in. Martz, one RBI on a year. Will turn and square to bunt. That pitch well out of the zone in the dirt. Nice snag by Caden Bergman behind the dish for the Redskins. Runner on first. 2-1 ball game here on the bottom of the second as Dell Zeth will check. Now looks plateward. Martz squared to bunt. We'll try to drop it down. Foul it back over the screen. You can hear everybody collectively hold their breath when those balls go out of play <laughs> as they know they're heading for those parked cars. Not a whole lot of room between the back of the screen and angled parking here at Stadium <laughs> Park. The 1-2. Martz awaits the pitch from Delzy. He'll come play with curveball. Chop back up the middle. And the Blue Jays have a pair of hits for their first two batters here in the bottom of the second. And that was a great at bat by Martz as he got jammed there but was able to turn quickly and get his hands moving forward. And they fight that one off, put it right back up the middle. And Blue Jays in business now with two on, no outs. Tyler Lindemann, the third baseman making his first appearance in the right-handed batter's box. Nobody down here at the bottom of the second in a 2-1 ball game, two runners on. Lindemann will turn and square. Offered at the curve ball for a strike. Nice breaking ball thrown by Delsey there. It's a tough pitch to hit when you're trying to square around and lay one down. See if Lindemann squares one more time. One run game here in the bottom of the second. He will square that one. Fastball outside and Bergman will make the slow walk out to Delzey. Chat about it. You know, and you wonder if the conversation's like, hey, if they're going to give us this out, you know, this is where I want you to put it. Let's try to get the bunt down. Maybe we can get the lead runner at third. If it's not a great bunt, but definitely don't want to risk having to uh, walk. The guy giving himself up as an out. 1-1 one, one count to the number eight hitter for Delphi St. John's. Nobody down here in the first. Runner not being held at first. Bunt defense here. As Delsey checks the runner at second. Comes Plateward. Curve ball. High ball level. And that runs a count to 2-1. There's kind of two schools of thought there. You make the bunt easy, try to get the out, throw some breaking balls or come up and in with it, make that bunt difficult to get down. And that's the approach St. Henry's taken thus far. As Delzey comes plateward one more time. That bunt fouled back to the screen. Evens the count at two apiece. St. Henry, the defensive strategy right now is it's going to be first base's ball, no matter what side that goes on. He's coming in and charging third base, is staying down. They'd like to be able to try to see if they can't get a shot at that lead runner. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody down. Lindemann, 235 hitter, playing third base today for St. John's. Awaits the offering from Delzey. Swing and a miss. Got him swinging. And that's the first strikeout collected by Devin Delzey today. Comes at a good time for the Redskins. Collecting the first out here in the bottom of the second, bringing up the number nine hitter, Colin Feathers. Oh, 
Rather's playing left field today for the Blue Jays. Taking his first cuts from the number nine slot. Check on the runner at second comes Platewood. A hardy cut from Feathers on the first offering he sees. Four RBIs this season so far for Colin Feathers. One runner in scoring position here with one down. In the bottom of the second. Dells Heath comes set. Checks the runner one more time. Will come Platewood. That pitch just a little low. On the fastball. Evens the count at one apiece. Delsey approves of the pitch selection from Caden Bergman, the Redskin catcher. Curveball in for a strike at the belt. Runs a count to one, two. Beautiful breaking pitch that time as Feathers just was completely frozen. Even started to lean back a little bit as that snapped down into the strike zone. That's a pitch. delzy has been able to throw for a strike here in the early going. He'll now check the runner in second one more time. The one, two, curveball. That one, letter high, out of the zone. So 2-2, two, two. runners on first and second for the Blue Jays, trailing 2-1 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Scoreboard. Still early in this Midwest Athletic Conference matchup. Big secondary lead, and got him on the outside corner. Strike three called. Back-to-back -back K's collected by Devin Delzey. At opportune times for St. Henry. Feathers yeah, was seeing a lot of breaking pitches that time, all that off-speed. And then right when Dells like need it, he's sped it up. Got the eyes moving in a different direction. Feather's not able to do anything except watch that one go over the plate. That brings back the top of the order as for the second time, Deese McLean swings at the first pitch he sees. And after the Blue Jays got the first two runners aboard, they are retired. Three consecutive batters on the put out. And that does it for the bottom of the second. We'll go to the third. A 2-1 score for St. Henry and St. John's here on WOSN. Today's scoreboard brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. The number five hitter for St. John, for St. Henry, I beg your pardon, coming to the plate. As Jay Schwader in the second baseman walked his first time up, hitting 500 this season for the Redskins. As he takes a cut at the first pitch, he sees here in the third from Braylon Metzger. That's your only giving up one hit thus far. Unfortunately, he's hit three batters, walked three more. As the second offering to Schwederman in for a strike, quickly an 0-2 count here to lean off the top of the third. Metzger looking a little bit more under control here to begin this inning than we've seen in the first two. Curveball, missed outside. Yes, Schwederman laid off. The bender. Metzger throws it one more time. Missed outside as well. The 2-2. Two -two. That one in at the knees. The second strikeout of the afternoon collected by Metzger. Great sequence of pitches that time for Metzger against Sweeterman. As he cranked up the heat. We saw him not throw quite as many breaking balls as I believe there's only one in that at bat. Finally able to locate that fastball, get the strikeout. Swing and a miss on the first pitch to DeHan. A 333 hitter 
Playing left field today. Was the middle walk in that bottom of the, f or top of the first inning. He takes a cut at the second offering. And quickly, Metzger ahead in the count 0-2. It's taken a while. We're almost 60 pitches in for Metzger, but finally starting to look like he has a little bit better control, able yeah. to place that ball where he wants it. That one uncorked a little high. But in a much more of a rhythm now than early in the start. Yeah, but more importantly, it looks like he's got St. Henry guessing finally instead of just sitting and watching. One, two. The hand wanted it. It's tough to lay off a pitch that you can get that much time to look at. Even to count it to a piece. One down here in the bottom of the top of the third. That pitch nearly got him. And it's skip out of the way of that one. So just as we're starting to give Metzger his flowers for his control and looking <laughs> like he's in a rhythm, it's three straight balls, and they, all of them missed by quite a bit. One down here on the top of the third. Payoff pitch from the left-hander. Metzger comes plateward with the payoff. That pitch up and out of the zone. And Dan is drawn his second walk of the afternoon. That brings up Owen Zimmerman, third baseman wearing number 29 today. He liked a hand, walked back in the first inning. Big lead at first for Dehan. Come plate where does Metzger, missed up and out of the zone. Two to one to score on the least famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Two runs scored by the Redskins in the top of the first one by the Blue Jays in the bottom half of that inning. The throw over to first, not in time. As DeHaan dives back in. Tag not applied by Wirt. So after a 2-1 score after a one, a scoreless second brings us to the top of the third here. Is a cut from Zimmerman, swung on and missed. Evens the count at one apiece with one down here in this third inning. Redskins had a three game winning streak until they lost to Fort Recovery on Tuesday. A three nothing game. It's Metzger missed outside. Runs a count 2-1. Both of these schools in division four for the tournament. St. Henry will go to Coldwater for the district while Dolphus St. John's goes to the Patrick Henry district. It's Metzger. Throws over to first. Not any time. Zimmerman awaits the 2 1. Metzger comes playward. Swing. Runner at first goes. And he's in time. Not in time. The throw is in time, I should say, as Braden Pullman guns down. Logan to hand on to caught stealing. Bang, bang play out there at second. It's a nice job to gather in that throw. Make sure they got the tag in quickly. And just like that, base runners erased. So now two down. Deuce is wild. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Here in the top of the third. And that one chopped down between the third and short base. Third baseman and shortstop. And Zimmerman is on with just the second base hit of the day for St. Henry. And that brings up Caden Bergman. Catcher. Hitting in the eighth spot today for St. Henry. As Metzger comes plateward, first pitch misses outside. Bergman ended the first inning on a fielder's choice. That curveball in for a strike from Metzger. Evens the count at one apiece. Check of the runner at 
first. Another curveball. That one right at the first base coach. Got a little tail in action on it. Almost like he had a magnet in him. <laughs> the Redskins hope Bergman can straighten that one out. One, two, two down here on the top of the third. Runner at first base. Metzger comes plate with that one. Down the line and will drop in for a base hit. Runner will stop between second and third, put the brakes on and retreat towards that second base bag, but runners on first and second after back-to-back -back base hits for Bergman and Zimmerman. It looked like Mentor just got caught up in between us. That one hung up in there as it started to tail away. Looked like maybe he might have had a chance, but it's one of those ones where, you know, do you try to lay yeah. out, do you try to make a play? If you do, it gets by you, you know runs are going to get in, or do you play it safe and play it in front? That's what he chose to do. St. John still just one pitch away from getting out of this one without any harm. Carter Laguerre had the first hit of the day for St. Henry, a double. Down the third base line, back in the bottom of the center, top of the second, I beg your pardon. However, he was caught stealing, trying to take home on a pass ball. Yeah, I got to think that we're getting close to seeing the end of Metzger as well. You know, obviously, the Blue Jays would love to get out of this inning with him still on the mound, but he's already thrown over 70 pitches as we are here into the third inning. I, I got to think this is probably his last inning if he can get out of it. 56 degrees here, not the warmest of environments to stretch out here. As Metzger comes plate, we're that one driven back up center. Jumping catch made by McLean at second base, and that will retire the Redskins here in the third. A couple of base knocks, but no runs come around for St. Henry. It's a 2-1 game after two and a half here on WOSN. High School Baseball tonight brought to you by Lodix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. Delta St. John's will bring 2-3-4 to the plate here in this bottom of the third inning, trailing 2-1 to one to St. Henry on the least famous recipe chicken scoreboard. As a couple of opportunities for both squads here Nate, in the second and third innings, St. Henry's left three aboard in the first, two in the second, two in the third. St. John's left one runner on base in the first, two in the second. So kind of a missed opportunity is the story of the game so far here for both sides. And St. John's has been able to make some pretty good contact, two hits each in the first two innings, but haven't been able to get that timely one to get more runs in. And they're going to look to see if they can get going. Braylon Metzger has the only run scored for the Blue Jays here tonight. Looking to get things going here to start the third. Breaking ball in for a ball in the first offering to Metzger. As Nate mentioned, scored after reaching on a single in the bottom of the first, the only run. Is that pitch up and out of the zone as well? So 2 oh the count to Metzger, the opposing pitcher to Devin Delzey today. The 2-0 to the number two hitter. Driven out of play off the third base side. Metzger, a 333 hitter on a year. In that left-handed batter's box, the 2-1 from Delzeeth. Curveball up and out of the zone, well out of the zone. Runs the count to 3-1. Metzger looking to get aboard for the second time today. The 3-1 offering. Swung on, high, out of play. That runs a count to 3-2. Lead off hitter here in the bottom of the third inning. As Metzger looks to help his own cause. Delzy shakes off the first. Will come play on the payoff pitch. Fastball driven out of play on the third base side. Wouldn't be surprised if the hands hurt on that one as you saw Metzger. 
have to let go of that one once he made contact. Got that vibration coming all the way down. Didn't get it on the sweet spot. Didn't sound like he got it on the sweet spot either. No. So we'll do it again. Three balls, two strikes. Bottom of the third inning, leadoff hitter for Delta St. John's, trailing 2-1 to one on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Braylon Metzger awaits the payoff pitch from Devin Delzies. Fastball, low, and he's aboard for the second time today with the base on balls. Metzger's got a good speed as well, so major base stealing threat. Nice way to open up this inning. First free pass issued by Devin Delzy today. Yes, Cam Elwer, the 240 hitter. Grounded out to short his first plate appearance. As Metzger takes a hearty lead at first. Throw over, not in time. Nearly got him back in the first inning on the pickoff move. Instead, he came around to score. Another big lead, curveball in for a strike. As Delzeeth done a nice job locating that breaking ball today for a strike. Metzger takes the lead at first. Takes off. Fastball on the inside. The throw down. Bergman got him. Not the greatest pitch that you want to take off on is Delzeeth has done a nice job of getting those in the zone. And then how about that throw from Bergman as he popped up, was able to deliver a strike down there at second to mow Metzger down. So the leadoff hitter got aboard via the walk, but Caden Bergman guns him on the caught stealing. That brings up one out now in the bottom of the third inning. As Delzeeth will come to Elwer on the 1-1. One -one. That curveball dribbled to short, backhanded, thrown strong across the diamond, got him. A great play by Carter Laguerre. Retires Elwer on the 6-3 put out. That is a nice throw across the diamond. And just like that, there are two down in the inning. Bringing up T.J. Wirtz. The first pitch, nope. Now Dale Zeeth will come out of the windup. Curve ball, chopped back to the screen. Wirtz hitting 345 on the season. Improved that average back in the first inning with a base knock. An RBI single that scored Metzger. Yes, Wirtz a little late on the fastball. Makes it an 0-2 count with two down here in the bottom of the third. Delzeeth with some wiggle root, misses up and out of the zone. With the fastball, try to change that eye level. The one, two. Breaking ball, got him swinging. And Wirtz retires the side here in the third. I beg your pardon, Delzey retires the side here in the third. We'll go to the fourth. St. Henry with a 2-1 lead over Delta St. John's here on WOSN. New pitcher on for Delta St. John's here in the top of the fourth inning as Austin Mutter will step onto the bump. He comes in from center field and Braylon Metzger goes out to center field, an easy change in the scorebook. Metzger, three innings pitch, three hits, two strikeouts, four free passes issued, gave up two runs, and hit three St. Henry Redskins here during his time as Logan Link, the dribble to short, throw across the diamond, not in time, Link legs out the 
infield hit to lead off the top of the fourth inning. And Link wasted no time. First pitch he saw coming from the new pitcher. He jumped all over. And that brings up Hayden Backman, center fielder for St. Henry. See if they get him to square around and bunt. As he did not off Reddick. Pitching for a ball. As Munner checks the runner at first. Now comes set. He'll throw over. Very close. Logan Link back in time, the right fielder. Nice move by Mentor. Is almost able to get Link. Is Link looks like he's itching to try to take second. Couple of caught stealing so far tonight for each squad. As Link takes off the bunt, curveball thrown down, and Link has swiped second base. Brayden Pullman is gunned down two St. Henry Redskins. Here through the first three innings, didn't get that one, and Link now in scoring position with Hayden Beckman, the center fielder. 0 for 2 on the day. Flew out to center field, and that pitch in for a strike. 2-1 count. Beckman also grounded out to second base in the second inning. Munner will check the runner at second base. Come plateward. That pitch up and out of the zone. Runs a count to 3-1. Drew Schwederman, the first baseman, stands in the on-deck circle. Wearing good old double zero. One of the best numbers in sports, Nate. <laughs> More folks should wear double zero. It's a 3-1 foul back to the screen. Runs the count full to 3-2. Munner been fastball heavy thus far in the first two batters he's faced. Checks the runner in second. The payoff pitch, he'll throw to second base. Not in time. <laughs> One of the best things about high school baseball, it's the dugout cheers coming Chatter. in. <laughs> the payoff pitch, that one driven right back up to short. It's through for a base hit. There's Send Link home. Elwer, the relay, not in time. St. Henry's growing the lead to 3 1 with Beckman advancing to second on the throw. And the stolen base threat of Link that time is what opened up that hole at shortstop as Elwer had to play close in case they were going to try to pick off again. It was a nice job by Beckman taking that one the other way. Ends up getting an RBI for his trouble. That is his get him on, get him over, get him in as it gets. Got him on with the base hit. Got second base swiped. Comes around on the RBI single from Hayden Meckman. And it is now a 3-1 to one game on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Beckman stands at second base as Drew Schwederman comes to the box. Hitting 194 this year. Curveball well out of the zone. There's Schwederman watches. That pitch up and out. Came around to score back in the first inning. He's been hit by pitches twice so far today. He'll turn and square to bunt. Bounces off the plate, past the catcher. And Beckman is now at third with nobody down here in the top half of the fourth inning. Talked about Mentor being heavy with the fastball during those first couple of batters. Now he's trying to change it up. We're seeing the breaking stuff. It's just not finding the mark. That one bouncing off the plate. Able to get St. Henry a little bit closer to getting that runner home. That pitch out of the zone as well, and it's a now a 3-0 count to Schwederman. Been on twice today, as we mentioned. Being hit by pitches. Munner, the 3-0 fastball in at the knees for a strike. After the hardy cut by Schwederman. Getting 194 this year. In the three hole today for the Redskins. Runner on third, 3-1. That one dribbled up against the screen at the St. John's dugout. 
as Munners battled back here to run the count full. The 3 2. That one out of the zone. And Schwederman's on for the third time today. That one via the free pass. First time it hasn't been painful for him to, yes. <laughs> to make that walk down to first. Yeah, that last one, he got on the elbow and took his time getting down to first base. It's... Looks like we might get a pinch runner here for Schwederman. As Dom Schwartz went on to run for Schwederman. And that brings up Lucas Clooney now, the designated hitter. He, like Schwederman, was hit by a pitch back in the first inning. And then fouled out to the pitcher in the second. As Clooney awaits the first off, runners on the corners, nobody down. 3-1 game, St. Henry the lead. Pitch missed out of the zone as Clooney watches the first one. Getting signals down from head coach Mike Gass down the third baseline. Cloney. All eights the 1 0. Curveball. Swung on and driven into left field. Camping out under it is Colin Feathers. Tagging up and scampering home is Hayden Beckman. And it is 4 1 at St. Henry. Clooney wanted to get a little bit more of that one. He was sitting, waiting, trying to see if he couldn't get power behind it. Just got underneath it. It's still going to be good enough to give him an RBI. Extend their lead out to 4-1. It's an RBI sack fly. Oh, no, I've got a, my scorebook all messed up here. It's a sack fly. So it is an RBI. Is that one stung down the third base side by Jake Schwederman? As Beckman came around to score on that sack fly from Clooney after his RBI single, Schwederman hitting 500 coming in two today. Struck out looking back in the third. The 0 1, the throw over. Not in time. Yes. Dom Schwartz got back just in the nick of time. As Munner threw over. Schwartz takes a bigger lead. Taking off. This pitch in for a strike. Schwartz gunned down by Braden Pullman for the third. Caught stealing today by Pullman. Yeah, these catchers tonight have just been completely on point. They're getting out of their stances quick, quickly. They're getting rid of the ball. They're accurate. And it has not been easy to run on them. So now no balls, two strikes to Schwederman. Two down here in the top of the fourth. The pitch fouled back into the parking lot. Well, that sounded like a nice thud. And there's a nice little follow-up to that one as well. But he holds their collective breath when it goes directly back. As the 0-2 one more time. Curveball well out of the zone. Didn't snap off like Munner wanted it to. Jake Schwederman. Reached back in the first on a base on balls. The 1-2. Munner missed wide. Runs the count to 2-2. Deuce is wild here at the top of the fourth. Two balls, two strikes, two out, two on the scoreboard for St. Henry here in the fourth on the least famous recipe chicken scoreboard as Munner looks to get out of the inning. The 2-2, two -two, swing and a miss. Set him down with the curveball. And that will do it for the fourth. St. Henry plates two in the inning. They lead 4-1 to one here on WOSN. High School Baseball tonight brought to you by Lodix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. 
Four to one to score. St. Henry with the lead over Delphi St. John's here on WOS. And I'm Garrett C. Wright, joined alongside Nate Garlock tonight here from Stadium Park. A sunny Thursday Midwest Athletic Conference matchup. Not the warmest day you've ever experienced, but a nice day for baseball. You'll take it here in late April. The game time temperature is about 56 degrees as Aaron Munner steps in the box. Just the second time he's making an appearance today. It's Devin Delzey in for a fastball, just missed on the inner half of the plate. That pitch down as well. Quickly, 2-0 to the leadoff hitter here in the fourth. Munner playing right field today. 273 hitter is the 2-0 in for a strike on the fastball. The 2-1 from Delzey. Curveball, hard he cut there from Hunter. Evens the count at two apiece. Delzey's has done a nice job all night long mixing up his breaking stuff along with those fastballs. Right there, you saw why it's so effective. That one shot back to the pitcher. He'll let it take an extra hop, throw over to first, where it is corralled by Drew Schwederman. And the 1 3 put out begins the fourth inning. That wasn't the easiest ball to field either. As you saw, it had some top spin on it. So Delzey did a nice job anticipating that spin that it was going to take when it got to him. Nice job fielding his position. Austin Munner, a base knock back in the second inning in his first plate appearance, only plate appearance thus far. Yes, Delzeeth. Curveball in four, strike the first offering to his now counterpart. Munner began the game in center field, pitched the top of the fourth for the Blue Jays. That breaking ball missed out of the zone. The 1-1. One, one. Pitch in for a strike. Popped out of Berkman's glove. It came in so hard. He didn't know it left his <laughs> mitt there for a second. Munner hitting 313 on the season. One of the leaders in batting average for St. John's. In the six hole. The 1 2. Fouled back. Took a tomahawk chop at it. Just nicked it. Keeps the count one to two. One down here in the bottom of the fourth. 4-1 Four lead for St. Henry. On the least famous recipe chicken scoreboard as Dell Zeed comes plateward. Swing and a miss on the chest high fastball. And that is the fourth strikeout collected by Dell Zeed today in the fourth inning. And that brings up the number seven hitter, Alex Martz, wearing number seven, the DH today for the Blue Jays. Single in his first at bat. Breaking ball in for a strike. Late break on the pitch to Martz. Delzey's done a nice job locating that breaking ball. Early in counts for strikes. Also wasting no time in between pitches either. As soon as he gets it back, he's getting himself set pretty quickly. He's taking an extra beat right here, but yeah, he's really forced. In a rhythm there. Yeah. 1-1. One, one. Sky in the air. Down the first base side. Runs a count. 1-2. Two. two down here in the bottom of the fourth. Tyler Lindemann in the on-deck circle, hoping he can take a couple of cuts here in the fourth inning. As Martz awaits the one-two. Late swing and a miss, the fifth strikeout. Collected by Delzey. Retires the side in order. In the fourth, we'll go to the fifth. St. Henry leads four to one here on WOSN.
Top of the fifth inning about to get underway here between St. Henry and St. John's. Aaron Munner back on the hill for Austin Munner, I beg your pardon, back on the hill for Delphi St. John's here in the fifth. This is the first pitch to Logan DeHaan in for a ball. Reached base twice so far today, both on walks in the first and the third. Gun down, trying to steal second base back in the third as that pitch uncorked on the curveball attempt. Runs the count to 2-0. Hunter's had a lot more success with that fastball than he has his breaking stuff. Seems to have better control over the four seam and two seam. He'll come play word. That pitch missed out. 3-0 count now to the leadoff hitter. Here in the fifth. Missed wide, and the four-pitch walk puts the hand on for the third time today via the free pass. And now Owen Zimmerman, the number seven hitter for St. Henry. He's one for one on the day. Base hit back in the third, walked in the first. Is that pitch well out of the zone as well? DeHaan, a threat to DeHaan, I beg your pardon, a threat to steal. Over at first base, something the Blue Jays are monitoring. It's Mutter. Checks the runner. And will come plateward out of the zone. So quickly, a 2 0 count to Zimmerman. Third baseman for St. Henry. Six straight balls thrown by Mentor. Or Mentor, excuse me. That one fouled back to the screen off the end of the bat for Zimmerman. Ending that streak of pitches missing the zone. A little surprised to see Zimmerman take a hack at that one. It's, you got the pitcher struggling like that on the mound. Sometimes you want to make them throw that first strike over the plate. You know, see if maybe you can't keep them rattled with more balls going that way. And back, no tag applied. Munner checked over to Wirtz. He'll come plateward. Missed up and out of the zone. 3-1. Maybe a situation of working too quickly almost, Nate? Or it's just... You know, sometimes, I mean, it seems kind of simple. and But sometimes you just have to take a minute. You got to take a deep breath. And it's almost okay to let yourself try to pitch to contact, let your defense get at it. Sometimes these pitchers, they try to do a little bit too much. They, they feel like they can't let the batters get a bat on the ball. Sometimes it's just trying to simplify things and get you back where you need to be when you're trying to get yourself refocused on the mound. And that's a great battle back that time by Mentor. Able to come back and get the strikeout. His first collected. And you saw he didn't do anything fancy that time. He went back to just throwing fastballs and try to overthrow, just following through with it and getting the ball over the plate. Got the job done. Was down 3-1 on the count. Battled all the way back as that one chopped to the third baseman. Throw in time to second. The hand retired on the fielder's choice. Now, I wasn't sure when Lindemann got to the ball if, if he was going to try to go to second or not, and if he was, if that was going to be the smart play. But he knew where he wanted to go. He didn't hesitate because if he had, definitely would have been safe over there on second. But nice strong throw. Cut down that lead runner. Brings up Carter Laguerre. Curveball in for a strike from Munner. Laguerre hitting a 194 on the season. Had a double back in the second inning. Grounded out to second, his second time up. One for two on the day. That pitch missed just outside the zone. Yes. Caden Bergman takes his lead at first. Two down. Top of the fifth. Pitch missed wide. You'd have to think almost that St. Henry's probably turned the steals off for the day as Braden Pullman's caught three Redskins on a base pass as the breaking ball from Munner out of the zone runs a count of 3-1. That was a great hold by LaGuire, too, because when that ball's coming in and it's coming in that slow, it is so tempting to just try to get the barrel on it. 
did a nice job holding off. 3-1 pitch, fouled off down the first base side, runs the count full. Here to the number nine hitter, St. Henry. Two down here in the top of the fifth, and a 4-1 lead for the Redskins. Runner on first, checked by the pitcher. Munner comes plateward, missed inside, and now two aboard for St. Henry on the free pass. Logan Link, the leadoff hitter, turns the lineup back over here in the top of the fifth. Struck out in the first. Flies one in to shallow short. And Cam Elmer will make the grab to end the fifth on the F6. Redskins get to a board, can't play either of them. We've played four and a half here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Devin Delzey still on the bump for St. Henry as the eight, nine, and one hitters for Delphus St. John's come to the plate here in the home half of the fifth. Leading off is Tyler Lindemann. Third baseman struck out back in the second inning. The first strikeout registered by Devin Dell's eighth here in this Midwest Athletic Conference matchup. Blue Jays one and three in conference play as Dell's eighth delivers the first pitch in for a strike in the bottom of the fifth. Redskins, while six and seven on the season, two and one in conference action. Dropped their first game in conference to Fort Recovery earlier this week as the 0-1 fouled off into an empty spot in the parking lot to Lindemann. Quickly 0-2. Here to the leadoff hitter. Breaking ball. Off the glove of Delzeeth. Tough play and Lindemann will reach first. I think that's a hit. Do you think that's a hit? Yeah, we're going to score that one. That's past ordinary effort, I think. I mean, that's a quick comebacker. Yeah, there's. I mean, that was going to – if Delzeeth got a hold of that one, that was just going to be a tremendous play. That was one of those ones where instincts took over and he stuck that glove out. <laughs> it had been better just to hold it in as the second baseman had a better chance at that one, especially with how hard Lindemann had – Hit that. I, uh, that's one of those that, you know, the ball catches you almost more <laughs> than you catch the ball. As the throw over, not in time to Lindemann. Colin Feathers. The number nine hitter. First pitch. Missed up and out of the zone. Feathers struck out looking back in the second. Lindemann takes the lead at first. Fouled off on a fastball. He evens the count at one apiece. Ooh. I was tracking that ball, that foul <laughs> ball through that F-150 uh, ball. There, the was, way. there was a very just, nice just, looking truck out there. There's a nice <laughs> truck out there begging for a foul ball. It couldn't, couldn't connect. Everybody, I think everybody here was watching that going, oh, no. The 1-1 one -one from Delzeeth. Hit feathers and two are aboard as the lineup turns over. And the leadoff hitter, McLean, comes to the plate. That is the first hit by pitch, tallied by St. John's today. Blue Jays pitchers have hit, I think, three Redskin batters. And three of the visitors have been plunked. Does McLean 0 for 2 on the day? McLean has seen two pitches, two that's swings. That's true, yes. Not a lot of time up there in the batter's box tonight. Watches a breaking ball in for a strike. Wanted to take a cut at that <laughs> one, too. It probably, should, probably should have. It was a pretty good location, though. As McLean, he's hunting fastball all the way, though. Nobody down here in the bottom half of the fifth inning. 
two aboard for Delphi St. John's, trailing four to one. As Delphi will come plate with another breaking ball in for a strike. His feathers had to retreat to first base as he was well off the bag. Bergman wanted to chuck down there. And I think St. Henry might have missed an opportunity that time. As Sweeterman didn't go run over to first. No. If he had, they had a good chance of getting feathers. The 0-2 to McLean. Missed up and out of the zone. They will throw down that time. They get him. They did. Feathers argued the call initially. But he's caught stealing. He's picked off. It was awfully close down there. and It's a tough call for the umpire to make from the position that he has to play out there towards the middle of the diamond. As you saw, uh, that was sweeter, man. It kind of took a little bit of a unique position on that yep. throwdown. In front of the bag and turned back towards the foul pole. It's the one, two. Chopped back by McLean. Who's quintupled the amount of pitches he's seen today in just this at bat alone. As Bergman and Delzee will get on the same page here. One, two, one down. Here in the top of the fifth, runner in scoring position with McLean at second base. And Braylon Metzger standing in the on-deck circle, hoping to take his cuts here in the fifth. Delzee will check the runner and come set. Plateward, swing and a miss. Out of the pitch, bounces for McLean. It'll sprint down the line. And Lindemann goes to third. McLean reaches. On the swinging strike. So that is the sixth strikeout recorded by Delzy. However, McLean reaches, and that might be the day. Yeah, just over 80 pitches for Delzeith. He's pitched a heck of a game for the Redskins. He's gotten them in a good position here, but a little bit of trouble here in the bottom of the fifth. And I would think that they're going to make a pitching change with as many pitches as he's thrown so far. Runners on the corners. But right now, just a discussion for the Redskins. Nobody taking the mound unless we've got quite the elaborate, he's going to second, then second's going to left, and left's going to center, unless that's the conversation. It's currently, there's one down, and runners on the corners. How do we want to work this out? Leading four to one. You know, we got a break here, man. We got to give a lot of credit to these catchers. Yes. As Bergman, with that last throw down to first, that is five runners now that these catchers have thrown out here tonight. And that doesn't include the great play behind the plate for uh, Bergman when he was able to get a pass ball and get it up to Delzite to get the out here at home. And I was a little surprised not to see Bergman jump out and try to throw down to first to, to get McLean as he just kind of let that one go. Yeah, it looked like he just couldn't, he didn't know where the ball bounced just off the bat and then off the bounce and then McLean speeds down the first baseline so runners on the corners for Braylon Metzger the 333 hitter for St. John's scored the lone run for the Blue Jays back in the first inning after a single he was one of those caught stealings that Nate mentioned back in the third Let's watch that pitch in for a ball walked back in the third inning before being thrown out trying to swipe second base but one down here in the fifth. Delzeith trying to get out of the jam. Unscathed. Fakes the move to third, goes back to first. McLean, right at the entire way. As Delzeith comes set. The 1 0. Missed up and out of the zone on the fastball. Metzger started the game on the bump, now playing center field 
after pitching the first three innings. Swings, drives that one into left field. 1-1 one, one will score. Moves the runner to second base. Cuts the lead to 4-2 on the RBI single for Braylon Metzger. Great at bat by Metzger. Has got himself into a hitter's count at 2-0. Knew he was probably going to be getting something that he could handle. A little bit of an elevated pitch. Didn't try to do too much with it. Went the other way. And now it's just a two-run game. <laughs> and that now brings up Cam Elwer. Grounded out to short both times he's came to the plate today. A lot of speed on the base pass for the Blue Jays. Runners on first and second. One down here in the home half of the fifth. Throw over to first base. Not in time. However, it's about as awkward as an over as a throw <laughs> over as it can look as Metzger was almost in front of Schwederman. Yeah, Schwederman did a nice job of kind of sneaking in behind there. <laughs> Not sure if Metzger just got caught off guard or what. Dalzies will check the runner at second. The first pitch to Elwer back off the ankle of Delzies. The throw. Over to first in time. A nice job by Schwederman to get into foul territory to receive the throw. Re receive the throw. That's a great job by Delzy too. And that came off hot to Cam Elwer. You know that that stung. And he yes, didn't sir. even take a second to kind of try to walk that one off or see what was going on. He went right after that one, able to grab it and get the quick out. We're going to have another mound visit. I'm not sure if this is going to be a just check yeah, to make sure the say, foot's I'm okay. Not, Give him a minute certain. here to recover. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that's a, hey, let's check and make sure. But maybe this does officially count as a, no, it looks like I'll leave him in there. Yeah, I think that's just to make sure it's a little, it's gotten a little chilly. You <laughs> yeah. Take one off the, maybe if it's the top of the, the cleat, it still gets a little, bo little bone there. Just checking on it, make sure he's all right. T.J. Wirtz, RBI single back in the first. Struck out on the third, one for two on the day. The cleanup hitter for Delphi St. John's. Two runners in scoring position, trailing by two. Wirtz, seven RBIs on the season. Is that curveball in for a strike on that first pitch? It's great location, snapped off right at his knees. Wirtz wasn't going to be able to do too much with that one. Yeah, it looked like he recognized it just a bit late on the breaking ball. Delzy to Jenks, the runner in second. Plate on the 0-1. That pitch up and out of the zone evens the count. Wirtz, first baseman. 345 hitter on the campaign this year for the Blue Jays. Five and seven coming into today after the big 3-0 win over Lincoln View last night. That pitch in for a strike. So Wirtz not happy with that call. Thought that one might have been a little bit low, but another great breaking pitch by Delzeth as he is creeping right around that Hunter pitch mark here in this inning, still throwing. Very strong, breaking stuff, having a nice break to it. Checks the runner at second. Runners at second and third. Two down, a one-two. Fouled off on the old excuse me swing. Options here for Delzies. A one-two. Up Kelly. McLean at third. Metzger at second. Wirtz chops one back to the pitcher. Gets off his glove. Wirtz beats it out. The run scores. Second time this inning that a ball off the pitcher's glove has led to a runner getting on base. This time also let one come in. As St. John's now has just made this a one-run game. You're right. That is the second time. Came back to the pitcher. Yeah, 
And that brings up Aaron Munner, the right fielder. And what is now a one-run game here on the bottom of the fifth. Pitch missed outside. As the Blue Jays have played it two here in this fifth inning. Runners on the corners. That's a 1-0. Breaking ball. Nice job by Bergman to smother that pitch from the dirt. Keep it in front of him and not let a run pass. Tell the Redskins have a ton of faith in Delzeith as he's out there trying to get out of this jam. He has pitched a heck of the game up to this point. Trying to get one more out, get out of this inning, keep the lead for his team. Munner, the 2-0. Foul back. Kind of just off the top of the bat. Blue Jays, a couple of base hits here in this bottom of the fifth. The 2-1. Yeah. That one in the glove of the second baseman, Jake Schwederman, to end the inning. But the Blue Jays plate two have cut the lead down to one as we'll head to the sixth. Four to three to score on the least famous recipe chicken scoreboard here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Four to three the score on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. As the St. Henry Redskins will bring the number two, three, and four hitters to the plate. As Hayden Beckman hit by the pitch on the first offering he sees here in the sixth inning. The fourth. Redskin hit by a pitch here on this Thursday matching. And that will bring up Drew Sweeterman, the recipient of two of those four hit by pitches. He's technically 0 for 0 on the day, hit by a pitch twice, walked once. Curveball, he's hit for the third time. Of all of them, I think that was the one he'd prefer as that breaking ball came in. and He almost caught that one with his elbow, it looked like, as it started to drop down into. Yeah, just a uh, breaking ball didn't snap off quite right, but yeah, of the pitches he wore today, that one is, you are correct, decidedly the one he would probably choose as his favorite. Yeah, the first two got a fastball on the elbow. As Lucas Clooney, the designated hitter, lays the bunt down. Down the first base side, covering is the second baseman, McLean, for the out. But there are now two runners in scoring position for the Redskins with just one down. That was almost catastrophe for St. John's as it took McLean a second to get over to first base. I wasn't sure he was going to make it to cover in time. No, you're right. He scampered over there kind of at the last minute. But the bunt gets down for Clooney. And now Jake Schwederman, second baseman, drives one into center field. Going back is Metzger, makes the catch for the out. The run will trot home to score as Hayden Beckman touches the plate to make it 5-3 St. Henry. Wasted no time in that at bat. First pitch he saw, he knew he could do something with it. Got that one deep enough. Back to a two-run cushion for the Redskins. Schwederman struck out his first two times up. Drives one to center field on the sack. That pitch out of the zone on the first offering two to hand. Who is 0 for 3 on the day with, three, or, uh, beg your pardon, has reached three times on walks today. He's walked each time he's came to the plate. And the first pitch to him was a ball. That pitch out of the zone as well. Halfway to a free pass. The runner on second base. 
hitting 333 on the year as the left fielder. Now that pitch almost got him through the glove of Pullman with Schwederman trotting down to third base. And now a 3 0 count to a hitter who's walked three times already today. Despite walking three times, the hands never made it past second base as he'll chop that one down the third baseline. Stranded at second to end the first, caught stealing back in the third, and then was put out on a fielder's choice back in the fifth. Hitting sixth in the lineup today for the Redskins. That pitch missed in the hand has walked for the fourth time. Looked like good location that time for Mentor. Must have been just a slightly inside. Nice job by Dehan to lay off of that one. And Owen Zimmerman. One for two on the day. Single in the third. Walked in the first. Struck out in the fifth. Runners on the corners. Two down here in the top of the sixth inning. Redskins with a 5-3 lead. We'll see if the hand takes off at first base. Pitch missed wide. Austin Munner will check the runner at first. Check one more time, throw over. Not in time. Pitch missed just wide. Runs the count to 2-0 here in the sixth inning. Already one aboard, one, a, one across, I should say, for St. Henry. Two aboard currently for Owen Zimmerman, the third baseman. That pitch up and out of the zone. Runs the count to 3-0. Should Zimmerman reach Caden Bergman, 353 hitter, in the on-deck circle with two down. That pitch in for a strike. Three balls, one strike. Zimmerman in for a strike as well on the up and outer half. So the full count now. You can see Mentor living on that outside corner right now, giving Zimmerman something to think about. Swing and a miss. And that. We'll close out the sixth inning. Blue Jays get in a bit of a jam, allow one run across, but a strikeout to close out the sixth. We'll send them to the plate when we return. Five to three, the score, St. Henry the lead over Delta St. John's here on WOSN. Bottom of the sixth inning about to get underway. Five to three, St. Henry with the lead over Delta St. John's. Redskins got two in the first. St. John's answer with one of their own. In the bottom half of that inning, we played two straight scoreless. Redskins played two in the top of the fourth to take a 4-1 lead. However, St. John's responded in the bottom of the fifth. Two of their own made it 4-3, and then St. Henry got them over, got them, on, got them on, got them over, and got them in in the top of the sixth to take a 5-3 lead. Here into the bottom half of the sixth inning, pitcher Austin Munner in the box. Facing Devin Delzeeth, still in the game for St. Henry on the bump. As he begins his sixth inning of work. Fouled off into the catcher's mitt. Evens the count at one apiece. That one fouled off into our home plate umpire. Randy Shellbarger takes a opportunity to walk that one off for just a hot second. Check on him. Tell you what, umpires, the ones are behind the plate, some of the shots that they take, I don't know how you take that and then get back down there to be able no. to. Those, I mean, that came off hot off the top of the bat, 
No reaction time. Yeah, and nothing he'll, you can do about it. Nope. He'll throw the mask back on and get right back behind the catcher. You got to give it up to him. Looks like we're all right. We'll laugh it off now. I'll we'll get back underway. That was that was certainly a thud off the bat of Austin Munner. One ball, two strikes to the leadoff hitter here in the bottom of the sixth inning. As Delzeeth will come plateward. That curveball fought off between second and third and the shortstop. Laguerre makes the catch to retire Austin Mutter. Marks, the number seven hitter, wearing number seven into the box. Watches that first curveball from Dell's Eath in the dirt. The 1 0 to Marks, 286 hitter. Swing and a miss on a hardy fastball. I was like, it's still feeling strong. He's able to reach down and put a little extra on that one. Marks one for two on the day. A base knock back in the second inning. Curveball fought off. Runs the count to one, two. Designated hitter for Delphi St. John City. Yes. The pitch swung on and missed. That was I just elevated that one. Switch down, put a little extra on that fastball. March didn't stand a chance. Seventh K. For Delzeeth. It's Tyler Lindemann. One of those Ks. Also one of the three runs on the least famous recipe chicken scoreboard scored by Delphi St. John's after his base knock back in the fifth. The 1-0. Bounced back to the screen. As Lindemann ahead on the count. With two down here in the bottom of the sixth. The 2-0. Swing and a miss. And Lindemann tried to hold up, but just couldn't do it. Delzy seems to be getting stronger here as this game goes on. Just There's no drop off at all. Got that that fastball's worked up in the zone here. Got some guys to chase lately. As you see it right there. Evens the count at two apiece on two straight fastballs. Letter high. So two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Breaking ball. Blocked by Bergman. If I'm Delzy, I think right now I just go right back to that fastball. He's got it working. The elevation yeah. is giving the Blue Jays a little bit of trouble. See if you can't blow one past here on the payoff pitch. Delzy comes plinkward. Fastball, strike three called. And that was a great change for the eye level as he did go back to the fastball, but instead of having this one elevated, kept it low in the strike zone. 
Lindemann got crossed up, ended up in another K. The eighth strikeout of the day, the third time. He's got back-to-back -back Ks to close out an inning. And we will go to the top half of the seventh. Redskins with a 5-3 lead here on WOSN. High School Baseball tonight brought to you by Lodox Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodox.com. Top of the seventh about to get underway. St. Henry plated runs in the first, fourth, and sixth. To get out to a 5-3 advantage over Delphi St. John's. So Austin Munner back on the hill. Race Third inning of work is that shot by Bergman in the right field. Four of ace hit, and Caden Bergman has his second base knock of the day. A little bit of a mental mistake down there at first for Hertz. As that ball was blistered out to right field. With Bergman running, if Wirtz, or if uh, they're able to get that one in cleanly, I, you know, they may have a chance of a, for a play there at first base, but Wirtz doesn't cover. Ends up with Bergman being safe. Emmett LeBrun will trot on to pinch run for Bergman. So Carter Laguer, one for two on the day. Now the double back in the second. Well, turn and square to bunt, pulled it back in time. We are also reached in the fifth on a base on balls. And flew out to second. He'll square to bunt, and he is hit by the pitch. Did he pull it back in time? He did. And Laguerre. becomes the sixth hit batsman today for St. Henry. Yeah, There's going to be a lot of bruising for the Redskins after this one. Looks like we might get a pitching change here. Yes. St. John's will go to the bullpen and we'll step aside as well. You're in a 5-3 ball game in the top of the seventh here on WOS. A 5-3 ball game here in the top of the seventh inning. St. John's makes a pitching change as Austin Munner's day is done on the hill. Book not closed just quite yet. Runners on first and second with nobody down here in the top of the seventh in the lineup turning over to Logan Link. -ish. Josh Mueller comes to the bump for Delphi St. John's. As Link one for three all the day. As the seventh hits Batsman. Link a turn to square to try to lay a bunt down. That pitch from Mueller got away from him quickly. So now, base is juiced. Five different Redskins have been plunked today. And Hayden Beckman, <coughs> the center fielder, one of them, who was hit the last time up in the sixth, comes to the plate, nobody down. That first pitch stung down the into right field. One run will score. Windmill is on. They'll send Laguerre around. He'll trot home as well. A two RBI single for Hayden Beckman. Busts the scoreboard open to a 7-3 advantage for St. Henry. Beckman saw one pitch, knew exactly what he wanted to do with it, and he absolutely tattooed that one out to right and able to extend this cushion for the Redskins. So a couple of base knocks, a couple of hit by pitches. Still nobody down, and the number three hitter for the Redskins at the plate. Runner will take off for second base. They'll throw down. It's cut off by Munner. Now playing second base after leaving the bump. Go, 
as Schwederman watches that pitch. In for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Still nobody down in the top of the seventh. With two runs already across, but nobody out. A hearty cut from Schwederman, who has been hit three times and walked once. The 2 1. That pitch out of the zone. So it's the fourth plate appearance, fifth plate appearance of the day for Schwederman, technically. No at bats yet. The 3 1. That pitch missed as well, and he'll walk one more time. Loading the bases again with the cleanup hitter, Lucas Clooney, the designated hitter. 0 for 1 on the day. Hit by a pitch back in the first. Has a couple as a sack fly. Sack bunt. Popped out to the pitcher back in the second. Swung on. Into right field. Going on, making the catch is Munner. He'll come with the come towards the plate. Nobody there to cut it off. The run scores. Make it an 8-3 advantage on the least famous recipe chicken scoreboard. So, Link scores. A sack fly for Clooney, his third sacrifice of the day. Oh, Schwederman gets out of the way of that one. Almost, almost a, another hits batsman. I don't know what the, I might have to look up and during commercial break what maybe a state record is for <laughs> Hit the batters in one game, but it's been a lot today for the Redskins. They now lead eight to three. That pitch swung off, swung on by Jake Schwederman, the second baseman. Back to the screen. Schwederman 0 for two on the day. A pair of strikeouts. Sack fly. Back in a sixth. That's a drive, that one. Giving it a ride back to the fence in center field. Two runs will score. One run will score, I beg your pardon, as they got that ball in quickly after the big swing from Jake Schwederman. The double brings Beckman around to score. And make it 9-3 Redskins. Schwederman, a lot of power on that one. He yes, sir. Got that one to the base of the fence. And now brings up Logan DeHan. Walked to all four times he's came to the plate today. It's just one down here for the Redskins. After plating four, he'll take a strong cut. That pitch evens the count at one apiece. Pitch out of the zone. 2 1. One down here in the seventh. Top of the seventh, I should say. Blue Jays will have their chance here in the bottom half. That pitch off of Pullman. Makes 3 1. As DeHaan's looking to walk for the fifth time today. Drives that one into left field over the fielder's head. Man. Schwederman will come around to score. Left, -hander, left fielder's hands are up. That ball looks like it might have scooted underneath the fence as he took, put a charge into that one. So it's going to be ground rule double. So it is a ground rule double. And I think we'll have to talk about whether Jake Schwederman comes around to score or not. Drew Schwederman was on third, so he absolutely scores. Because I didn't see if it bounced over or if it went under. I don't 
think it's going to matter either way. And it looks like they're going to let, yeah. it, so, let it stand. So Jake Schwederman scores. So an RBI. So a two RBI double for Logan DeHaan. His first hit of the day. He's been on base every time he's came to the plate. That pitch up and out of the zone to Zimmerman. One for three. Struck out the last two times he's came to the plate, both swinging. And an 11-3 game. That one skied high in the air. I don't know where it went, but this way I back was going to say, I, I tracked it to the top of the screen and I lost it, but it was directly over my head, so I was slightly worried there for just a moment. Still just one down, the top of the seventh curveball. Stung into center field for a base hit, gets past the center fielder. And Dan will trot around to score as another stand up double for the Redskins. And Zimmerman with an RBI double. Yeah, not quite sure what happened out there in center field is. I believe that's Metzger that's still out there. And not sure if he just got a little twisted up or maybe the ball just got on him a little bit faster than he thought he was going to but an awkward slide there as he tried to get that one gathered in St. Henry now blowing this one wide open. Seven runs here in the top of the seventh. Still just one down as they're batting around as Bergman who got the inning started with a single comes back to the plate two base hits already today for Bergman Watches that pitch up and out of the zone. Zimmerman on second base after the stand up two, two RBI double. That pitch, now he'll come to third base on a wild pitch. That's just a one RBI double for Zimmerman. Bergman faces a 3-0 count with one down. Drives that one down the first baseline. Nearly got that one off the front of the school bus as well. Forget who did it back, and it might have been Bergman back in early in the game. Got it right off the windshield. With a big old yellow school bus down the first baseline. There's a lot of spectators and that school bus in trouble with Bergman on that one. He'll chop one to short. Elmer, the throw across the diamond in time to retire the Redskin. However, Zimmerman comes around to score. Makes it a 13-3 ball game. That one popped up on the first offering. Elwer takes charge, makes the grab to retire Laguerre, and the inning ends for St. Henry. However, they have busted it open in an eight run at top of the seventh inning. Gives the Redskins a 13 to three advantage over Delta St. John's here on WOSN. Scoreboard tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Grant Holm on to lead off the top of the seventh inning after a fantastic, or bottom half of the seventh inning, I should say, top half, a good one for St. Henry. They played eight in the inning to bust this open to a 13-3 advantage. As Ohm, watch that first pitch in for a strike. New pitcher on for St. Henry, David Clooney on the mound now. Wearing number 33 for the Redskins. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. Grant Ohm links the pitch from Clooney. Pop that one, see if it stays in play or not. It does get over the fence and out of action. 
Runs a count to one, two. As the Blue Jays trailed by two coming into the seventh. Now just need base runners aboard however they can get them on the one, two. Bounced into Bergman behind a plate. Ohm runs the count to 2-2. Two, Cloning two. the right-hander. Working out of the windup. Got it in there for strike three. Great pitch by Clooney that time. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's just a great pitch as he was able to get that going on the inside. Ohm um, really had no chance, even if he swings the bat. I don't think he's able to get to that one. I don't bring up McLean. 0 for 3 on the day. Right. Clooney curve bowling for strike error as well. His, Locating that pitch nice. Yeah, his breaking stuff is just filthy. The 0 1 fouled back oh. off the home plate of fire again. He is having a rough back half of this game. Appreciate our umpires who give up their weeknights to come out, make sure the young folks can play high school baseball, softball, track, whatever the spring sport lacrosse. It has been a rough spring for all sports, umpires, players. Gotta love spring in Ohio. Grounds crews <laughs> probably went through some diamond dry so far here in the regular season as the 0-2 missed outside. McLean swung at the first two pitches he saw today, was retired back in the first and the second, struck out in the fifth, but reached on the drop third strike, trying to get aboard here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Last chance for the Blue Jays, trailing 13-3. Chops that curveball down the third base side. Strong throw across the diamond in time for the second out. He just got that one off as McLean was flying down the line. Almost beat that out. Nice hustle by him. But one out of wait now for the Redskins. Clooney will try to close the book here on the Blue Jays as Braylon Metzger started the day as the pitcher. Gave up two runs in his three innings of work. I want to center field. Is Clooney complete word. That pitch in for a strike. That's your pitch well to start this game. The big problem was just couldn't keep that pitch count down. Yeah. Through those three innings, he pitched almost 80, 80 pitches. Had no choice but to get him out. And I think faced eight hitters back in the first inning. I think near threw nearly 40 pitches back in that first inning. Gave up those two runs. Didn't only gave up three hits, but walked four, hit a couple of batters. It's the one one missed wide. Runs a count to two one. Metzger has reached every time he's came up a pair of singles and a walk today. Was retired on the caught stealing back in the third, however. The 2-1. Driven down to the first baseman. Schwederman will make the play. Step on the bag, and that will do it. For this Midwest Athletic Conference matchup, St. Henry busts it open in the top of the seventh inning. They played eight to take a 5-3 lead to a 13-3 lead. And they retire the Blue Jays in order in the bottom half of the seventh to take the 13 Team to three win here against Delphus St. John's. Final thoughts today, Nate? Yeah, it was a great night. I mean, for most of this game, it was back and forth. We had some really good pitching. You had to uh, give a tip of the cap to Delzy. He, he came out through over 100 pitches and really kept this St. John's offense at bay. 
and lasted just long enough for that Redskin offense to come alive. A lot closer game than the final score is going to indicate. It was a great Mac matchup tonight. So for our fantastic WOSN crew and Nate Garlock, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long. The final score, the final time, St. Henry grabs a 13-3 win over Delphi St. John's, and we'll catch you next time here on WOSN.